So this is Willie, the museum mascot. Hey guys, we're here in historic Saltville, Virginia, in front of the uh, Museum of the Middle Appalachians. We're here on this blustery, really cold day, but wanted to bring you along to show you the uh, museum and hopefully you can come out and see it yourself sometime. Yeah, so let's go in, and see what they've got. So Saltville holds a unique distinction in the uh, Eastern United States. And this summary right here actually says it all. Saltville can probably, without challenge, claim to be the most fascinating two square miles in Virginia or possibly the Eastern United States, owing to its geology, paleontology, history, and past industrial production. This museum actually uh, showcases the ecology, geology, and history. and history of this area, which is extremely diverse and rich. The museum is a self-guided tour. Uh, one of the first things you notice when you come in is this really impressive model of the town, the valley, where everything's in. This was handmade by one of the local residents. This was a favorite of our kids when they were little. Yep. You can actually uh, select different subject matter here. The Madame press Russell the, House. Press the light, or button, and you want to click it on and off a time or two so you can see it. There it is. Oh no, it's our fault. Seriously, there is a fault, a, a fault line that runs through here, and this section shows a lot of the geology of the area. The museum is set up in chronological order of the history of this region. We start out 510 million years ago. Then we start moving forward through history with the geology of the region. The Saltville Valley actually used to be part of a great inland sea. Once the sea dried up, it left uh, salt deposits, which have resulted in a unique salt marsh here in the middle of the mountains. Thanks to the salt marshes, there is an extensive array of fossils that have been found and are continuing to be found in the area. There have been digs in the salt marshes. Uh, the Smithsonian and now it's the, the East Tennessee East. State University uh, so heading up the research. You can tell if a fossil was locally excavated because you'll see the dig number on the tag. Now there's too much to show all the uh, fossil collections and everything here at the museum. However, just to give you an idea, this is a recreation of a mastodon skeleton overlaid with the background of the mastodon painting. And Amy will walk up so that you get an idea of size. They were large. The museum has an extensive collection of stone points and blades that come from the southwest Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina region, uh, here in the middle Appalachians. As you can see, they are quite impressive. Several years ago, the museum uh, outgrew its original space and had to expand into the building next door. So let's continue on through history. I love the next display for the uh, native culture. This was the woodland period. I've been to a number of museums around and I have to say that the uh, collection here is one of the best I've seen outside of the Smithsonian. That's just one drawer of many. Now we're moving into the settlement period when the Europeans arrived. There were no salt mines in Saltville. They actually dug wells to collect the naturally occurring salt water, boil the water off, and to get the salt there. The museum partnered with the College of William and Mary to produce several historic historical videos about the town and the region 
uh, both in its early settlement and through the Civil War. For copyright reasons, we cannot show you any of the video. However, we can show you the titles of the videos to give you an idea of what all is covered. Because of its easy access to salt, Saltville became one of the largest salt production areas in the country. That's when the Civil War broke out. It was a key strategic location for the South and a major target for the North. As a result, there were heated battles for possession of Saltville. There is a wide selection of Civil War era munitions left over shot from both sides that has been collected and displayed here at the museum. In the 1890s, industry moved into the region in the form of maths and alkali works. The abundant natural resources in the region made a perfect fit for them. This began a dramatic shift from primarily agricultural society to industrial company town that lasted for decades. Thanks to Olin, Saltville was a company town for a number of years. Pretty much anything that anyone here needed came from the company. The museum has a very nice collection of historical photos and accounts of life as a company town uh, with the Owen Company, both good and bad. The bucket line that used to traverse the town going from the quarry over to Owen for the limestone that was used in a lot of the chemical production. There's one of the few original remaining buckets. Southville is home to a few uh, hometown heroes. One in particular was Harold Cat Eye Taylor, um, who was very instrumental in the uh, moon landings. Another hometown hero was Hobart Smith. Uh, he was very instrumental in the early days of country music, and you can even uh, push these buttons and listen to a little bit of his music. Um, you can even buy a CD in the gift shop. In the days before the EPA, industrial accidents and disasters were not uncommon. One of the worst had to have been the Palmertown Muckdown disaster. Changing environmental regulations uh, forced two of the major industries in Saltville to shut down. Olin closed and then not too long after, U.S. Gypsum closed. However, it's hard to keep an Appalachian town down. They've moved on and salt is king again. The Saltville Valley is one of the unique and beautiful areas of the Appalachians. The museum here showcases a lot of the beauty and nature that can be found in this area. And here's the gift shop. They have some shirts and hats. In fact, there's the shirt that Tony is wearing right now. And from the looks of it, you might need to get another one. This would be your third one. Well, it's a popular shirt. It is. I get more comments on this shirt than I do any other shirt I've ever had. Yes. They have a lot of really interesting books of in the area and from southwestern Virginia and in Tennessee. There's a picture of Wooly and Little Salty, and then a couple pictures of Wooly on either side. Some older versions. Love that they have those here in the museum too. And then, not from the area, but they do have different gems and jewelry. In fact, I think about half my jewelry might have come from here. I'm wearing some now. And while some of this may not come from here, all the proceeds do go to help the museum. Now, one thing they do have in the gift shop that is from here is authentic Saltville salt. We have bought a lot of this through the years and it is delicious. Great on popcorn. Yeah. I know salt is salt, but not no, really. Not really. 
Ooh, we hope you enjoyed this tour of the Museum of the Middle Appalachians as much as we do. We've been coming here since our kids were little. When you come to visit, make sure that uh, you look at all the displays. There's information everywhere. We'll have information on the uh, museum in the description box, including uh, its address and website. So we'll see you on the next excursion. All right. Bye, guys.